There's something about really good bread that gets me excited. I don't know why. Is that a bubble forming in the middle? Yeah. Look at these bubbles. See, this is what makes that airy, beautiful focaccia. Look at all the bubbles. Oh, this is gonna be good. Welcome to Vince's at Home. Today, we are going to make sourdough focaccia, just a simple focaccia made with sourdough. So no yeast, fermented with sourdough starter, flour, water, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Are you becoming a sourdough expert, honey? I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I am just... Exploring, exploring all things sourdough? Exploring all things sourdough experimenting, seeing if things work. And I've tried using my sourdough for focaccia and it has come out beautifully. So now I wanna show you. Cool, so you are making bread and we're selling them at two of the Vince's locations in Sharon and Newmarket yes. under the banner. The good bread. The good bread. The good bread sourdough. And that good bread is in honor of Kristen's dad, Jim, who used to love when we brought fresh sourdough bread that we used to get from a store in Newmarket, and he used to always say, ah, you brought the good bread. And so we love focaccia. So this is dough that I made yesterday. So I mixed all the ingredients, let it rise on the countertop. I just put it in an oiled container, then I put it in the fridge, mm -hmm. and then took it out this morning. And as you can see, it's bubbly, and that's how you know that it has fermented and risen enough. If you're bringing the dough home from the store, yep. you just leave it out and let it come to room temperature and then it's ready to work with. You okay. just can't work with it cold. This is room temperature now, cool. so it's ready to use. Cool. It's ready to put in our focaccia pan. We don't have a lot in front of us. No, it's a very simple recipe. So this is a steel pan, so it holds its heat. It crisps up the bottom very well. We found that if you want that real good crisp, Mm -hmm. There has been nothing better than a high quality steel pan. Yes. If you have one of these in your kitchen. We're just going to drizzle some olive oil in the bottom of our pan. And then this also has olive oil. Yep. We're gonna just put that in the pan. Ooh. So now I'm just stretching the dough to the size of the pan. With focaccia, you make little indents yes. with your fingers. Yes. So I put olive oil. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of oregano. Yep. Really, you can do whatever you want with it, but this one is good plain on its own or even to use as bread for a sandwich, which I will show you. Oh, we're gonna make sandwiches? A little bit later, yeah. And cool. now it's ready to pop in the oven. That's it? Yeah, that's it. So we're putting it in at 475. Yep. For about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, what do we never do when something's, when bread's breaking? Open the oven, right, honey? We have Vitale prosciutto and Pistachio mortadella from Ooh. Mark Angelo. I'm gonna cut some tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, I'll cut the tomatoes. And now we have a little mozz fresh mozzarella. So I'm going to pull out the focaccia, nice and brown on top. That looks good. Okay, should we cut into it? Are you ready already? Why are you laughing? It's hot, it's hot. Too hot? <laughs> yeah. Well, take it easy. So we let it cool down a bit. Yes, we got excited. We got excited, so we cut into it right away, but it's better to just let it cool down a bit before you cut into it. Yes. Um, so now we'll just cut a few pieces. You can try it, and yes. then we will make sandwiches with our focaccia. Cool. And as you can see, the bottom Here, is nice and crispy. The middle fluffy? is nice and light, fluffy, bubbly on the inside. Okay, and then you can put whatever you want in it. So I think today we are going to use a little bit of pesto. pesto. This one is arugula pesto, a bomba spread, if you like it spicy. And then whatever you want. What do you want? Mortadella, some prosciutto, some tomato, add the fresh mozzarella here, some basil, salt, and of course... Do we need more olive oil? A little bit more are olive you, oil. Sure we need more? Yeah, you never have enough olive oil. There's a lot of olive oil in there. Just a little. Okay, okay this one's yours. Yeah. That one's too big. It's the same. Switch. It's the same. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this looks good. <laughs> yep, you should make this. You should make focaccia. I'm back in Italy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You brought it home. Good job, honey.